Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com. And today we're talking about aviation weather, actually talking about winds aloft reports, how to read them and really how to apply them uh, when you start doing your cross country flights, as I'm pretty sure it'll probably even come up on your check ride. So the website we're on is aviationweather.gov. You can see that there. Where I want you to go is winds and temps over to wind slash temps text. You'll load up with this nice little kind of interactive map here showing you all the different stations. And we're gonna to go to the west coast for some of our examples today. So we click on that and one of the first things I like to do, let me first zoom in so you can see it better, is read all the notes on our winds and temps aloft. So um, this is an FD is what it's known as, kind of like a, a METAR or a TAFL, this is an FD. Let's see, we'll just call it our winds aloft, winds and temps aloft. Um, report. Um, you can see it's valid for use from 1400 Zulu to 2100 Zulu and this is on the 26. Um, another important note to read is the temps are negative above 24,000 and of course this is going to be in Celsius and temps negative above 24,000 is pretty standard. So what we want to do is first things first for those of you that are taking notes on this I want you to write down a few things. The first is that all altitudes through 12,000, and this is how we're reading here, these are our altitudes here, all the way across. These altitudes through 10,000 are MSL, mean sea level, okay? Above that, 18,000 and above, these are now pressure altitudes. Some other things you're gonna note here is we have some blank spots. Well, no winds are forecast within 1,500 feet of station elevation. Also, no temperatures are forecast within 2,500 feet of station elevation. So let's go ahead and read through um, a few of these here. For example, at 3,000 feet at the Bravo Lima Hotel Airport, the winds are, first two numbers are our direction. Okay, second two numbers are going to be our speed. Winds are 280, this side here, at 6. At the at the fat airport, Foxtrot <laughs> Alpha Tango, the winds are uh, 320 at 12 at the end there. If you run into a 9900, winds are light and variable. Now here comes in a little temperature stuff here. Winds at 6,000 feet at the Bravo Lima Hotel Airport. 250, first two numbers, at 21. Temperature plus, so a positive, 18 degrees Celsius. See what I did that? Winds light and variable, six degrees Celsius on the positive side. Winds 240 at 17 and plus one degrees Celsius. Okay, let's move into some more complex things. Um, obviously over here, you can see this is just showing us it's a negative temperature. They'll show you positive, negative, but remember, all temps above 24,000 are assumed negative. So let's, uh, let's look at some more complex ones here. Here, at 30,000 feet, just looks like a bunch of numbers, right? Okay, so our winds, are 280 at 78 knots and our temperature is minus 36 degrees Celsius. Okay, hmm, so we got that one. Hey, what about this one here? What on earth is that? 78, 17, 37. How on earth am I gonna interpret that? Well. Again, if you're taking notes, if the direction is more than 360, so obviously this is going to be way more than 360, what that's telling you is the winds are greater than 100 knots. Again, they can only fit so many numbers in, so this is how they're telling you the winds are greater than 100 knots. So what you want to do is you want to subtract 5 from this first number, which gives us a 2. So that tells us the winds are from 280. And we know the winds are 100 knots or greater. So what you want to do is you want to add 100 to this wind speed to get 117. 
and the temperature is minus 37 degrees over here. So 280 at 117 knots, temperature is minus 37. Let's try another one. Um, let's try the next altitude, 34,000 feet. Okay, so we're looking at this one now. Again, you subtract 5 from this very first number here to get a 2. So these first two numbers, that it would be a 2 and an 8, would be 280 at, well, we add 100 to that wind speed to get 118. And our temp is minus 47 degrees Celsius. Now, another thing, if you saw, and I don't know if there's one on here or not, I have to look through it a little bit. If you saw like a 7799, um, you know, somewhere, somewhere in here, 7799, something like that, would show you that the winds are greater than 200 knots. And they're not going to give you the exact velocity of them. They're just going to say, hey, the, those winds are kicking. They're over 200 knots. And I don't know. They pop up every now and then. I don't see one um, here. But um, that's to know that they're over, uh, greater than 200 knots. So the main things to remember with winds aloft, remember through 12,000 is MSL. Above that is a pressure altitude. No winds are forecast within 1,500 feet of station elevation. No temps within 2,500 feet of station elevation. And remember, you want to subtract 5 from that first number um, if you think you're going to come up with a really weird number like 780 is not possible. So if it's greater than 360, consider subtracting 5 from that first number to um, correct it there for you. Um, that's all I have for you guys, hopefully you're checking winds aloft, especially before you go on your cross countries to pick out the most advantageous altitude for your flight, um, along with checking for freezing levels, which you can look for um, at various temperatures there using this chart. So uh, that's all I have for you. If you guys have any experience using winds aloft charts or how do you use them in your day-to-day -day flights, leave me a comment below. Um, if you leave that comment on m0a.com, you know you'll get a reply from me. If it's on YouTube and stuff, I may not be able to uh, get to all of those. But on m0a.com, you know you'll get a reply from me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry it ran a little bit long again. Uh, but most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.